Motorhome Diaries 5. Motorhome yeah. Diaries. In the stove. <laughs> on the corner of my road. <laughs> Which is a lovely little two growth. It's Thursday and it's freezing. Yeah, That's an old you Kev. That is a pressure yeah, pump. That's the noise of a pressure pump. So we all make mistakes, all so off towards an 18 up. Yeah, who's the real plug now? I guess that might be us now. Motorhome Diaries 5. So in this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different because we've run out of ideas, haven't we, Kev? Yeah. So if you've got any ideas of what you want to see in Motorhome Diaries, put them in the comments below. Um, and what we're doing this week is a week in the life at Motorhome HQ, what we're getting up to. And if you do enjoy the video, we'll carry on doing them. So welcome to Motorhome Diaries 5. Okay, Monday was a busy day at Motorhome HQ. Uh, first thing in the morning, we had a couple come down to actually have a look at the Aldis. And then they went into that one, but what they did end up to test driving and buying was the Bessie car, which is a lovely little two berth and a cracking starter van for somebody getting into motorhoming for the first time. It is actually a four berth, as you can see with the overhead cab, but there is only two seat belts. So really, I would class this as a two berth. It's a really nice van by Bessie Car, and it's a 2002. So in the morning as well, we had a Trigano Tribute go out. A really nice camper van. I do like the Trigano Tributes. Um, so what I had to do was show them how everything worked, and then off they went, happy as Larry. And then in the afternoon, we had a couple turn up to pick their 2008 ACNA up. And again, that's a two berth with a U-shaped lounge. Really nice starter van as well with all the modern extras um, for its age. So the plan today, Tuesday, I did start it late last night, checking it off. We've got an auto sleeper trooper um, on a 58 plate. Uh, customers um, brought this now, so I've got to check it off, check everything's working, and then go through the camper van. Auto sleeper trooper on a Volkswagen, um, rock and roll bed. Um, it's got a three way fridge. We've got hobs, um, cold water, and then we've got a grill. Now, when I was checking it off last night, the piezo isn't working. So I've had to lift the obs up and it's bolted in like so, which I've undone and I've ordered a new piezo to replace this one. So I'll crack on today getting the rest of it done. That is a pressure pump. That's the noise of a pressure pump. It's not an a submersible pump in the tank. So I'm guessing it's coming from here. Now this is the most annoying thing. I've got to undo one, two, three, four, five, six screws, which I've done. And then that gets my shelf out. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. Down here, that's where my pump is. So on the pump, it has got a filter which does have to be changed right why do we have to go through the rigmarole to get it out when a sous vide hatch it just do the job nice and easily okay so now we're on to wednesday um plan today is um i've finished this off it just needs valeting and a wash off i'm waiting for the pizza to come so i can replace that um, and then what I'm going to do is move over and then I started this late last night checking off this auto trail um, ready for the customer to pick up so I'm going to spend the day on this wait for the PZ to come and then I can do the finish off the auto sleeper and this is a really nice van this auto trail 632 now we also picked um, a little camper up yesterday. This one's an auto sleeper Mizan. It's based roughly on same as the Rome homes. 
um, and the new ventures. So this one's a little two berth camper with your two bench seats. And then what we've got here is a two burner hob, also with a grill. We have a three-way fridge and also a little sink with, with cold water and also hot water. A great little camper van. Okay, so we've just had a piezo arrive. So we'll get this now onto the auto sleeper. So here's a new piezo. And what I've done, I've ordered a 22 mil when it's an 18 mil. So what's happening when I put it in, it's not fitting through the hole. So we all make mistakes, so after order an 18 mil. It's Thursday and it's freezing. So where are we up to? Auto sleeper, I'm waiting for the piezo on it. As, I, as you know, I ordered the wrong one. I'm halfway through checking off the auto trail, which I'm going to spend the day on the auto trail. Um, we're also going to do a video as well in between of LPG. And I'm waiting on a power board for the fridge because what's happening is the fridge is lighting on the gas, but the igniter's um, not going out. It's still trying to keep igniting, so then it's faulting out. So normally it's the power board, so I've got one of them. Hopefully to come today, we can get that power board on. Hopefully get the piezo and get that one done. So both of these two vans are done, and all we've got to do is wash them and valet them. And there we go. Kev, do you want this larger battery for putting on the auto trail? Uh, yeah, this yeah. One. that's the one I need, yeah. Yeah. Right, oh, I'll tell you what we can do. This is a vehicle battery we took off the auto trail um, because the auto trail has been standing for a long time. So we've put a brand new vehicle battery on. So what we're going to do now, we've charged it up overnight, it's same full. So what we're going to do is give it a load test. Switch that off. So there we've got, there we say it's okay at the moment, we're going to put a load onto it. As you can see it's putting a load on and it's just about holding. There we go. So we've now got a good battery which we can use for putting on something else. That's an old battery cap. Okay, I'm back in the auto trail and what I've done is um, I put a meter onto the battery and switched all the lights on to deliberately, deliberately run down the ledger battery. And I'm going to switch the lights on now because this vehicle's got a um, solar panel on it. And we'll see if, by switching the lights off, if the solar's going to do its job. So straight away, you can see the meter going back up again. Now I've switched all the lights on so the solar is actually doing its job and trickle charging the ledger battery. And then what we'll do now is we'll pull, um, switch on um, the hookup to see that the um, battery charger for the hookups working so we should again see it going up there we go so the battery charger is doing its job solar panels doing its job and I'll just trip the electrics there we go the battery charger switched off again and this is a new arrival that we had in yesterday it's a little Nissan camper van it's actually a V6 as well um, let's have a look inside. So what we've got is a, a little pull-out rock and roll type of a, uh, bed. And then, let's have a look. Well, that's quirky. 
little sink, cold water, and then a little two burner hob, cupboards, little drop down tally, so quirky little camper van, um, it'll be a cheap little quirky van camper van as well. Alright. Kev, go get the beer of the peas in. Right. <laughs> so today what we're doing is we're replacing a, a power board on a Thetford fridge. Here's a new power board and we're going to put it on. Yeah. So I've got my new pizza. Um, I've just put it on. And we've now got the grill working and it's igniting, doing its job. And now we've got to put it all back together again. <laughs> Squeaky bum moment. <laughs> we could have popped the roof up and make it a bit taller for us. Could have done. Yeah, happy. Yep. Even though we haven't disconnected the gas supply, we will do a gas test here because we have been working with the hobs and the grill. So here we've got a 2002 autocruise and as you can see the bumper's gone a bit faded. So what we're going to do is work a magic up and bring it up looking like new.